You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do it. And that's welcome to episode 282 <laughs> of the Soul Forge Podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey, everybody. If you couldn't tell, Amanda's here. Uh Uh-huh. Yep. And I'm Sean, of course, Uh as I I have been for the last 282 episodes. Uh, It's episode 282. Which sounds like a great party. Well, yeah, it kind of does. It does, yeah. So we were going to talk about how childhood, we have thoughts, and then as we get older, our thoughts change. But you said that was depressing. It is depressing. So you want to... What's, wanna, you wanna what's just... fun about adulting? N- nothing. In, in the... fact, that, that's kind of like my episode from last week, expectations versus reality. Oh, okay, then yeah. So it's pretty similar. We don't want to do that. People don't want that. They want different. No, yes. They come back for more fun, exciting... And there's nothing more fun and exciting than an episode of the Soul Forge podcast right here on... The ESO Network! Good job. I know. Hey, you're, <laughs> you're, you're getting some practice in. Yeah, well, I took my happy meds today, if you couldn't tell. And that's what we're going to talk about. Just things that make us happy. Oh, wow. Or, okay. Or something. Or we're just going to talk and catch up and reminisce and maybe not have a theme for not the episode. Not mustard? Just ketchup? Just ketchup. Oh, okay. Ketchup and liquor. Mm, ew. Oh, I just got that. That took me way too long. You don't remember that as a joke as a kid? No. Oh, that was... Yeah. No, let's just not say it. Okay. Because I don't want it stuck in my head. Ketchup and liquor. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I, th- I think that was like grade two and grade three. Don't, me, don't make me throw more puns at you, because I will. Yeah, you found a bunch and... Oh. They're bad. Audience out there in podcast land, you have no idea the uh, so bad the the horrendous turmoil she put me through with puns. Yes, let me just give you a quick example. Uh, what has more lives than a cat? Is it a frog? It is because it croaks every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's what I was subjected to just before we hit record. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not. No, no. It's like, sorry, not sorry. I understand. Like you brought me here. You should know by now. Yes. Like really, this isn't. Oh, I know what I'm getting into when I first experience when I I put you on an episode. Yeah. There we go then. That's it. Happy. Yes. I'm so happy. You look very happy. Yeah, but I'm not. Isn't it great how we're so good at pretending? Yes. Like and hiding what we really feel. And when people ask you how you are, they really don't care because they sometimes don't even stop walking. Hi, you, how are you doing? You know what? That's true. It is. As a matter of fact, because I'm a mailman, for those who don't know if this is your first time listening to the Soul Forge. And welcome. It's good, good to have you here. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the show. Always. You don't have to listen to the other 281 episodes to, to know everything, but you could. Yeah, we'd prefer it. But Well, or at least the ones I'm in. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> As a mailman, people will say, oh, thanks for the mail. How you doing? And then they don't even wait for the answer. Yeah, they just shut the door in your face. Mm. It, it's the same thing as when people walk away. It's great. I usually say, I'm living the dream. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, you're walking around in the freezing cold and That's the rain. Right. And, and the heat and the... Yeah. 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 And heat stroke and... Right. It's great. Yeah. But they... it No. Today, I did 27,000 steps. Holy crap. I did... Wait for it. Nine... 1,540. And you're not even a mailman. No. Nope. Wow. But I only did 9,000. You did like three, three times that much. I did do. Th- that, today was a lot though. Yeah. The PUC bills were out. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah, that's a lot of walking. For those who don't have a PUC, it's Public Utilities Commission. <laughs> oh my God. And if you don't have that, 
live your dream because you're still young well, and you don't have bills to pay. See, they call it PUC here in Sault Ste. Marie, but when I lived in Timmins, we didn't have PUC. No, it's, it, yeah, it's it, different. It was, it was Hydro One. So different yeah. places have different things for their power. Mm -hmm. So that's an exciting episode of Soul Forge this Isn't week. Isn't it? It's super exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah, we have we had like no topic because every topic we came up with just led to more and more depression. Well, uh, let's pull up my notes here again and uh, we'll regale the listeners yeah. with some possible Oh, I'm sure they're going to love this. Suggestions. <laughs> what you think we should do something before that though? Like what? Like No, we're we're not far enough into the episode yet for oh. the promo. I was so excited there for Well, a we could do one. Never mind. All right. You well, ruined it. I did. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know if I've done this episode or not. You've listened to some of them. Uh, have we Almost done, all of them. Have we done the anti-bucket list, such as things we will never do again? Uh, yes. We did do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sexual fetishes? I don't know. I don't believe so. But we can work on that one. I have an expert in that field. Right, we'll have to uh, yeah. come up with something there. Uh, a reason, a season, a lifetime. No. I haven't done that one. Uh, yoga class. I, I did do an episode about uh, how my brother subjected me to trying yoga with him. So mm -hmm. I, I think I did do that one. There you go then. Uh, another episode idea that we had was cleaning habits slash junk drawers. Yeah. We I, all have them. Yeah, I, I think and, I came up with this list with Tracy back in the day. Oh my good God, that's crazy. This is a long time ago, this no list. No kidding. Uh, another episode, Begin Again. Yeah, I, I think, again, I, depression. I think I've touched on that. <laughs> uh, As that, an adult, Beginning Again is not fun. I've done it quite a bit. I, it's not fun. In, in fact, anybody who's a long-time listener to my episodes will know how many yes. times I've begun again. That's what I mean. And again, it's, I mean, at least there's one upside to it. Oh, you get to do the thing you said before that. The cleaning and the getting rid of everything and right. the purging. Purging. Because you're moving and then yes. you see all the crap you don't need. and So that's an up. Exactly. There's that's an up. Tr that's true. That's what we should do on this episode. Ups. Okay. Up. The uh, upsides well, of down things. There, there's two more uh, ideas here on the list. Here we go. Uh, nothing else matters. Oh. Okay. The upside to that is you're probably dead. So, yeah. <laughs> nothing else matters. Okay, and we did that one because you yes, talked about we did funerals that one. and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last one was called uh, The Grief Portal because that's something that Mark Marin had mentioned on one of his episodes, and I think I did do a. An yeah, you did about do that. something on so, grief. So that's uh, ideas that I've had, but none of those really seem to no. fit for. No, they're all up. like just bleh. Yeah, so how do we make it an exciting episode this week? Well, um, I think. Random acts of kindness is always good. Random acts of kindness? Yes, I know. I, I don't know how that came out of my mouth. Have, have you performed any? Uh, many. Like recently that you yeah, can tell Yeah, yesterday us when what, I was at the mall. What, um, what did you do? There was two gentlemen at the Tim Hortons line, and I've won a whole bunch of free coffees on my roll up the pretend rim on your phone. Yeah. Um, and the guys thought I was going there because I just kind of, I didn't say anything. I just went there and scanned my thing. And I think they thought I was trying to get the points because they didn't have the thing. Mm. And that's exactly what they thought right. because I could hear them when I went to walk back to my niece. And then they were, when they realized they didn't owe anything for their coffees, I don't get those roll-ups because I activated uh, a prize. Yeah, so right. So their gave, coffees were paid for. So you gave them free coffees yes. with your winnings. Yes. Well, that was very nice of you. Yeah. Well, I like doing that kind did, of stuff. Did they thank you for it? Oh, yeah. They yeah. were surprised. Because honestly, I think they they definitely thought you were Steve, this woman's Steve coming here to get our, our roll up so R Steve right. she can win. That would, would have been bold. And they didn't say no. They yeah. didn't say anything. They just kind of stood there and looked at me funny, which happens a lot. But anyway. <laughs> really? Off that topic, you know, it's, yeah. I love doing that kind of stuff, especially in drive throughs and things like that. Well, people don't expect it. No, exactly. And you never, ever know what someone is going through. No. And to me, that's way better than a, how you doing, when you don't care. Right. How you doing? Well, yeah. you see... Yeah. They don't want to hear, you know, I've been depressed for uh, seven days and haven't changed my clothes or showered. Because then they don't know what to do with that. No. And you don't want to say that either because then they're going to think you're more mental than they already think you are. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because like people can only handle so much 
mental before they're like, uh. Sorry, I asked. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. So you just learn to not, you know, like, I guess, well, it is. It's a facade. You just put on a facade. Well, and you go does. about, yeah. absolutely. That's absolutely how society operates. Mm-hmm. You, you gotta. You have to. Because yeah, if, if. You don't want to kiss your boss's ass, but you have to. Because if you don't, you can get fired. You know, you don't want to, you know, discipline your kids in a certain way because then they're going to not like you. And and then, you know, what are the consequences from that? Like, everything is dictated by how others perceive, how we think others perceive us. Social convention. Yep. Exactly. And we're totally tied to it. We are. And you know what we're also tied to? Oh, 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 is it promo time? It is. Okay. (laughs) We are also tied to... This promo... On the ESO Network. Welcome to Earth Station Trek, a show that talks about Star Trek, from the early days on NBC to the future on Paramount Plus and everywhere in between. We cover topics like... Star Trek versus reality. Did the board get better or worse? Finding the good in bad episodes. Pop culture in Trek. Star Trek pets. Vulcan romance. Religion in Trek. Umox for fun and pleasure. Kirk versus Picard. And why Cisco is better. Plus reviews of all the latest episodes. Check us out on your favorite podcast platform or the ESO network. And wasn't that a fantastic promo? I love them. They're like, I've said it a million times. Well, not, you know, every time. Yeah. I absolutely love the promos. And the podcasts. Yeah, I do. Because Mm -hmm. there's nothing better than if you can just make one person smile. You know, like, just one. Spread happiness and joy wherever you go. Yeah. And I try very hard to do that. I know. I know you do. I really do. Mm Mm-hmm. Because it makes me feel good. It does. When I feel bad. So So really, it's a selfish act. But, yeah. So explain this to me. You Mm -hmm. making somebody else feel better Mm -hmm. makes you feel better. Correct. How does that work? I don't really know. Um, I think it's just maybe some kind of brain chemicals that go off when you have done something nice for someone else and you get a hit of dopamine yeah you don't expect anything in return besides just maybe some gratitude that's fair i guess you know or just the gratitude of yourself knowing that you've done that for someone so do you do the things that are nice for people for the accolades or just because it is fulfilling to your own soul. It's fulfilling to myself. Okay. I don't expect any praise or thanks. I don't ask for it. I don't... It's nice if you get it. Yes, absolutely. But, but do I expect it? No. Okay. I've given Christmas gifts to people in their mailbox who don't even like me. <laughs> but I left them there because I saw something I knew that they would love. So I left it. As a okay, back, 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 back up, back up yeah. a second. Uh-huh. You said there are people in this world who don't like you? It's possible. How is that possible? I swear to God. Explain this to me as you would to a child. Well, let me explain it. Let's see. Mm, I might be a little bit too much for some people. What? Yeah. Too much? Too much. You? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Yeah, because I get, you know, I don't know, weird. It's weird, because how you are around People, right? Yeah. Different people, different ways of acting, different expectations, different realities, different, you know, social cues, different everything, right? You don't pick up on social cues? Oh, I do. Oh, I know do. when I'm annoying the crap out of somebody. Oh, okay. Most of the time I don't care. Ah, uh, is that what it is? Most of the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because sometimes I'm very comfortable with being me. Yeah. And sometimes I'm... Very uncomfortable. Huh. And what's the difference? Mm, I think my desire of what my expectations are from that other person. What? Yeah, like what I expect from, like if I expect them to like me back or not. Oh, okay. Right? It's going to be how I just said it in a fancy way. You you did. Because I am edumacated. Yes, you are. You know. And, and normally I would be able to decipher, but yeah. oh, holy crap, I'm tired these last few days. Oh my God. It's the time change too, right? Oh, we did have a time change. Yeah. That, that is true. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I and did... it was the forward one, not the back one. Right. So, so we lost an hour yeah. and I did walk another 6,000 steps today, the normal. So there's I, that. I hear and... whining. I'm just going to drink coffee I'm not... now. No, I don't whine. Whining. Nope. 
Mm-hmm. I call it making observations. You make it into a positive. Okay. I'm, I'm not complaining. I am observing you yeah. whining right now about your walking. <laughs> incorrect. I'm merely describing. Uh, incorrect. <laughs> you are not just describing. I would never. You are whining. I would never whine or complain. I don't know. Let's ask our listeners because um, I'm pretty sure if you've listened for as long as he's been doing this, <laughs> you will hear him at least one time whining about something. Are you sure? Positive. I don't even have to think about it. Because I'm pretty sure it's just merely describing. No, no. It's it, that's definitely whining. You're not doing it in a childish... Well, no, you have. You've yeah. Have I? Yeah, you've done that too. Well, yeah. if our listeners agree with you, they can write us at <laughs> soulforgepodcast at gmail.com. However, they won't because no one ever does. And that's not a complaint. That's a mere observation. Very true. That... That, that was an observation See, uh, and a fact. Yes. Right? There has been a few emails here and there sporadically from time to time. Very true. Uh, e- even good old Bill Lamont hasn't said anything in quite a while. I wonder if he's still listening. Well, do better. Oh. Like, I'm just going to put this right back on me, you. Me do better. Yeah. I always do my utmost. Really? Oh, yes. Ugh. Like when you were delivering all the PUC letters today. Yes. I'm sure you were up mostly singing, you know, Chim Chimini, Chim Chimini. That's the exact song I sang when you were in yeah, the mail. I bet. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm sure you have the dance down pat. I certainly do. Mm-hmm. It's mostly the dance of trying not to fall on the ice. Right. But... Yeah. And you can't wear tap shoes and not fall on ice. So you definitely need winter boots for that. I don't even own tap shoes. Well, then you can't do the dance right. Well, that's not a surprise. I don't have any rhythm. <laughs> that's, that's not a surprise. <laughs> it's not a surprise? No. What do you mean? You didn't even have rhythm in high school. Are you kidding? I've never had rhythm. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> and I'm tone deaf. Um, I was talking to my brothers about this and how none of us have musical talent. And Brother Curtis told me that uh, that's, that's Moses' fault. I know it fault. is. That's okay. I don't think the it's microphone the clock. picked it up. There was a clock that just did something. Oh, okay. Anyway, Brother Curtis said, I, I'm so lacking in rhythm that I watch other people clap to clap along because I can't hear the beat. Wow. So that's his, his coping mechanism. Okay. Yeah. Like, none of us like have any kind of rhythm. So it's not because of hearing loss. It's just because you just... We have nothing. Okay. We don't, we don't have that right. in us. Yeah. Yeah. It's... No, I pick up on it very fast. But then I, I sing and I act and I... I hear songs once and I remember all the words, like that kind of crap. But I can't remember what I went in the kitchen for. Well, no. And I can't remember when I turned on the sink, you know, to yeah. to fill it up for dishes and then got distracted by 9,000 other things and then come right. back to the sink overflowing all over the counter. <laughs> well, sure. <clears throat> but fun it, times, adulting. It, it sounds like fun. Highly recommend. Like when I try to describe a song to somebody, I'm like... You know that song, and then, oh, no. and then I'll try to hum it, and I'll go, mm-hmm, 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 and it doesn't sound anything like whatever the tone would have been. Okay. It sounds like it kind of in my head, but it just comes out as, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. You, you sound like a bear stuck in a bear trap. I feel like one sometimes. Who's just given up on life when you do when you do that. Yeah. The good thing is, though, I have given up on life. That is I just thing. can't hum. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Hidden talents that we didn't know were relevant. I don't have a hidden talent like that. I can't hum. But you can sound like a bear stuck in a trap uh, in the woods. There you go. See? We just See? turned it around. That's what this episode should be all about. Turning, it's just us turning... Turning those frowns upside down. Turning crap around. Well, yeah. I don't know. Let's not go too far. No? You don't want to be too positive? No, because if we're too positive... Then it's like saccharine sweet. Yeah, and it's not yeah. real. And it's... we don't want to give our listeners toothaches. No. Because we're so sweet. Yeah, and plus a dentist is expensive. Like, we're adults. Do, do you know a dentist's favorite time of the day? Oh my god, tooth hurty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny, eh? No. 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 That was not good. No. No. That's so overdone, that one. Like, it is. It's so bad. It is. My, my son loves those. He, I, I believe you. My daughter's the same way. Yeah. Biggest. She looks them up and not... Yeah. Dad jokes and puns oh, and he loves all that stuff. Just why? I, I don't know. The positive to that is, at least they're not doing drugs. Well, they could be. But they're listening to puns. And yes. most kids who are looking up puns are not 
No. Usually on anything because if they're doing mushrooms, they don't need them. And, if... and, and Bishop is definitely not doing drugs because those are illegal. What? Drugs are illegal. What? Yeah. Did you know that? Uh... And he won't take a drink. Okay. Even if I offer it to him and I say, it's okay because I'm your dad. He's like, dad, I'm not 19. Wow. Yeah. Oh. And, and sometimes when we're driving in the car and I'm driving with one hand, he'll ask me, dad, do you have a license to drive with one hand? Wow. Oh, yes. He, he's the, he's uh By follow, the book kid. He is yeah. very by the book, by yes. By the book kid. My the kid's le- complete opposite. Law. Yeah. Complete. Hmm. Yeah. Def- yeah. Definitely different. That's not a bad thing. No. No, I'm not saying it's bad. No, it's no. Just, it's that's, just that's, a, that's, that's who he is. I, yeah. I don't have to worry about him doing drugs because they're illegal. Right now. If they become legal, though, maybe you will. I don't know. See? Well, if pop- they become legal. Uh, cannabis is legal and he's Correct. not touching that. So. But he's not 18 yet. True. So. But he will be at the end of the year. So there. Ha <laughs> I, I, I still don't think he'll try it. <laughs> you, you never know, though. Mm. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Has he even scratched a lottery ticket yet? Like, you gotta be 18 for that. Yeah, I have no idea. See? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? He might go all kinds of crazy on you. He scratching just... lottery tickets and smoking up <laughs> with the weed. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. <laughs> I'm sorry that I, I thought this stuff was illegal. Yeah, that exactly. I friggin' love scratching yeah. lottery tickets and smoking up <laughs> in the bedroom. It's the best. <laughs> Have you tried this stuff called beer? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you know what, though? On that topic, mm-hmm. alcohol, which is fine. It's all good. Uh-huh. At least, anyways... There is so much more variety now than when we were kids. Oh, yes. Like, oh, my God. The crap that we snuck around with was just bleh. Now you got stuff that tastes like like those... Popsicles. Popsicle things. The rocket. The rockets. The red, white, and blue things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. So good. There's so many varieties. I know. Yeah. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. What did we get? Those stupid things in those two-liter pop bottles that tasted like... Garbage. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say eating ass, but garbage is better. Yeah, because that'll bring us up to a whole <laughs> thing, bunch of things we don't want to talk about. It'll bring us back to the... <laughs> One of the things on your list, which when the expert gets here, we'll get to it. Yes. Yes, we will. I'm just saying. Looking forward to that. Yeah, that will be fun. Yes. It really will. I, I agree. It's too bad that they can't see what's happening. Yes. Because... That would be fun. It could be our first video podcast. Well, I don't know. Do you <laughs> really want to? No, I that don't. to be you. I don't want to be the subject of that. You would be. No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Although it would make a great description on the episode as it's happening. If I got to pot, if I got to describe, like, be the narrator while I was you, watching, you it, might yes. have to because I might be otherwise engaged. That would be hilarious. But anyway, yeah. On that idea, let's say goodbye to our listeners. What? Well, is there more to say? Well, no, but you you never say, like, goodbye you know, until oh, we see each other next time. Well, I never or... say goodbye. I always say, see you next time. So there you go. But you said goodbye. Well, it's just the way we're going to close the episode. <sighs> oh. And we won't see them next time. They'll well, they don't them. see us. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So did you come up with an and remember? Mm, and remember, no matter how bad things get, And they get bad. They can still get worse. Okay. (laughs) Thank you for listening to another episode of the Soul Forge Podcast. Your support is greatly appreciated, and we hope you'll tune in again next time. Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links. And don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping for the T Public Store, which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.